Hello folks, I am the owner of Web Productions, and welcome back to some more Fallout 3. Now, when we left off, we explored inside of Hamilton's Highway, and we got ourselves quite a bit of good gear, quite a good bit of good ammunition. Um, off camera, I did, all I did was, was I just turned in some sensor modules that I had, and the scrap metal to the... The outcast. So now, whenever I go into my aid, I have quite a bit more stim packs now. So a little bit more than we have before, which is great. Um, one thing that was marked on my map is Arifu, I guess. I don't know if that's actually what's supposed to be named in the game. All I know is is that this was marked down on my map whenever I was playing around with things. So we're going to explore this really quickly. Or, we're not going to explore it really quickly, but we're just going to explore around. Around? That's not... I was about to say, that's not like a... That is not a... Uh, it's not dog meat. It's kind of weird that dog meat and the scavenger dog both share the same... Uh, hey there. Yeah? All right, Everything see. has its price. Take a look and make me an offer. Uh, all right, they have the uh, what? I still gotta fix the combat shotgun because I just saw the shotgun shell, so that reminded me of that. Um, I wouldn't mind repairing this at all, actually. So. Another satisfied customer. Let me take a look. Yeah, let's see what he can repair. Um, barely anything. Uh, we do need that to be a little bit better as of now. All right, we're good. Bye. Yeah, I didn't have another com. I didn't have another uh, shotgun, so. I felt like that was the appropriate thing to do. Also, apologies if you hear my fan, um, the fan to the computer in the background. Um, that is because I am, uh... Yeah, I'm just recording right now, so... Well, that dog is... Oh, probably shouldn't use that. I mean, I don't care. And also, it like the water stops the bullets immediately so there's really nothing I can do to help them to help that doggy out um, so why should I even try really um, well, there's probably a mire lurk about to rise out here If we walk away, maybe they won't attack us. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there's some... I guess I need to find out if there's a way to fix that. In some way. Some of these objects are still kind of floating, but it's... I don't think it's terrible. I just, I just need to fix it. Wait, did we just pass it? Oh, it's up on the... It's up on the freeway, okay. So yeah, we're doing another episode today. I actually almost completely forgot about doing an episode today. <laughs> uh, this will be released on Wednesday uh, when I... Uh, That, that wasn't good. <laughs> that was a little bit of a glitch, but let's just make sure. Yeah, the only 
the only difference you can tell is the uh, is in fact uh, just the gun swaying. That's the only difference you can see between uh, me having to stop it and change it. So say no, that's here. Might as well quick save and see what's over here. Um, oh, there's a merchant. Why do you look like Dr. Lasko? Searching for that special something. I don't think so. Uh, whoa. Of course they'll all be empty. Of course they would. What? Was this a place that was cut and they just decided not to have it there? Hmm. Um, I'm thinking about um, if this goes okay. Um, I'm thinking about maybe going to Big Town and um, maybe doing that quest, whatever quest is at Big Town. I do know the one quest that's there, which is just... Whoa! Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. Who spots you? Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Uh, I have a letter for the- oh yeah, I have a letter for the Lest family. This is for the quest. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. What kind of trouble? Well, at first they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise, but they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. Uh, what's got you so spooked? Ah, uh, look, you can call me crazy if you want, but there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. Okay. Help cost caps. We have plenty of caps, so... Well... Hmm... Should we say help cost caps? I feel like we should, but... I'll be... I think we should just go with the peaceful way, maybe, first? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I have the message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Where do you think I could find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Okay. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Okay, then. So, we have the quest now. Blood ties. Which I'm guessing is an... Yeah, this is an advance to the... Is this the mailman? Oh, I... Oh, Evan, he's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. Well, that's pretty neat. 
people of the capital wasteland. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. Uh oh. Uh. Calm down, pound. Before. Oh wait. What are you? What are you being so hostile? Maybe it's crap, because crap, crap, my wife has gone mental. No, wait. I think it's because some lunatics are trying to kill us. Other than that, no reason. Evan Keen told me to check on you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Without our buddies from the Brotherhood, I'm guessing the entire capital Good. Now get out. Oh, that was close. Look, I want to be left alone. So what's your take on Evan King? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Um, can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. What do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Good. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Okay. Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. She didn't really- Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies. It's so nice. Um, um, okay, you do know there was a war 200 years ago, right? Well, I must speak to my husband about that. We could bring it up at the next Homeowners Association meeting. Ah, oh, I do love meetings so much. I think I'll bring muffins. Okay, she might be a little bit conky around the, um, the dome hole, but, uh, let me just make sure that the audio is doing okay. Okay. And if the fan, if you hear the fans, I'm still so, so sorry. Um, I still have that save from earlier, right? Yes, I do. I'm good. I'm good. Um... Yes. Who is it? Evan King sent me... Can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. That's really neat, actually. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Um, Evan, Teen, Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. So what's your take on Evan King? He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. Um... You tell me more about what's been going on around here? We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. What do you think about the family? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits, especially after this last attack. Sure, go. Just like everyone else. Hmm. Well... 
Maybe after getting specific things. Mm. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. The West are dead? But wait, then... Who did this? I was sitting a letter for them, and now they're dead! What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Did you know that... Did you know that the West are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? Nope, it's unlikely they left him alive. I only found the parents' bodies. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look. I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Message for the West. Uh, I have a. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. The West had bite marks on their uh, on their necks. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks. That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Don't worry, Evan. I'll figure out what happened to the West. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. Oh, yeah, there, are, th there is. Um, also, just to make sure... It lagged a little bit there, which I'm a little bit... Um, worried about. Alright. Might as well take this. There's no reason why I wouldn't. Um. Locate the family. Deliver Lucy's, uh, message. Is there a, um. Okay, there's really no way for us to actually find out. Otherwise, they might be there. Um, I don't remember what he said. I mean, I think his... Wait, he might say dialogue back again. Let's see. Please, please say the... Please say the... Was that a... Uh, Protectron trying to kill me? How's the search going? And... Where do you think I could find I the family? I think they live somewhere east or north. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding. Like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Northwest Seneca I Family Metro Station, or North Cinema. Seneca Station, or... They weren't there, so that's the last place. If they weren't there, this is the last place that I can go to. Also, you guys heard that too. I think there is a, uh, I think there's a Protectron down there next to the river. Ian might be next to the river. Uh, let's just make sure. Oh, oh, ow. Otherwise, Ian might be dead because of that Protectron we heard. I'm supposing that Ian's around here somewhere. Did say down by the river, so... I did not like the sign of that whatsoever. I'm getting a lot of rats here. Ugh. Also, I'm going to have to do a, another audio check. I'm sorry, folks, but, like, it's a... 
kind of a required thing at this point. Okay, so there's nobody here. Hmm. Yeah, so depending on, uh, the one thing that I'm worried about a lot is the, uh, is the way that NVIDIA is, uh, handling itself right now. It is, like I said, not handling itself any good whatsoever. It is not doing it quickly. It's kind of lagging. So, he said inside of here. So, they might be here or not. Either that or I missed something along whenever I was going to, se to the cinemas or to the, uh... Either to the cinemas, and we already checked that one place, so there's no way that we can, they can be there. I think this is the one place that. We haven't even checked yet. Well, let's hope that we're right. Of course, that thing would be in here. Wait, did I make it explode? <laughs> of cigarettes, pre-war money, and a floor safe. That's easy. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take all that. Seems like that this place was a little bit more far reaching outwards than I thought. Anyway. Well, now. If it isn't the little safe no. in the vault, we've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a pri- What? So um, well, what are you waiting ha! for? I love it when they go down fighting. Uh. Oh. Oh. I'm dead. Darn it. If they did not... <sighs> Why is that a random event that happens almost every single time? Like, every single time that I play this game? Also, I love the reaction from my character because he's just like, he's also just done with this. He's just like, well, what are we waiting for? <sighs> Let's make a sec extra safety save. Oh, yep. I'm not gonna lose this much health. There's no way I am. Also, why is it every single time I exit this place?
this is... I, you guys are seeing a side of me that I did not want to show, which is me being angry that a, uh, a certain NPC doesn't die immediately from headshots whenever they're basically not wearing a single thing on their head. Am I lucky this time? Nope, I'm not. I'm not lucky. Well now. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> That's what he gets. How did you miss when he was... See what I mean with the... Yeah. I'm I uh let's see which uh weapon does the most damage. Okay, how come I didn't use this before? Well now. You're dead. You're dead. That is what you get when messing with me. You get death. How come whenever you're good, you even get yourself? This doesn't make sense. Um, all right. There. Pair that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and save over that because we're not going to experience we're not going to go through that again. That uh and also the audio might be uh out of sync. <laughs> uh let's check. Okay. It didn't go out of sync, I don't think. But still like it could have gone out of sync even if I ended it. You're not... not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Steal your secrets? Not at all. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. Ultra Jet? Is that some sort of super chem? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. Uh, yeah, sure, what do you need? It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Make it 30 caps and you get yourself a deal. Fine, anything to get what I need. Now scram, I got some preparing to do. Okay. Who are you then? Barrett. Okay, so there's literally nobody down here. Oh my gosh, this, that was a wild goose chase of nothing. Oh. We might actually have a place to go here. I mean, we're running 14 minutes on the clock and we still haven't found it. Found out these. Ah, this sucks. 
there's barely anybody, like, at all. There's not even a single bit of... Well, this is majorly depressing, so, like, I guess it was at the, uh... I guess it was at that one place? Because, heck, it wasn't here. Um, I'm guessing it was the Moonbeam Outdoor Cinema? Is that where they were? Oh... Rap, you guys saw that in the distance, right? Not just me. All right, come on. The frames are bad, but so were you. Let's see what else we got around here. Actually, no no kidding, the frames are bad around here. Why is that? Just turning over here. Hmm. They were bad for a second, I don't know. That's big town. Um Man. Guess I'll go back and ask him again. Hopefully this isn't a timed quest. Because if it is, then I'm very much uh I'm not I'm not qualified for anything. How's the search going? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, there's all kinds of places they could be hiding. Like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema. Okay, so he doesn't really know. Unless they're there. They didn't quite think of that. Well, okay. We'll try giving it a shot, but I don't even know where they could possibly be. Maybe off camera, whenever if I don't finish this up, um, I'll find out where they live, and so whenever oh. I go, how come that hurts me? I'm in power. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking, I don't know why, but that that little shack up there is giving me. He did say east or northeast, so maybe they live in this shack. Oh, and there's a... Myra Lurk after me. Alright. That was simple enough. Uh... Alright. So let's go ahead and check and see over here in this shack if they are possibly here. Ian might be here, but I don't even know where Ian is, so... Ugh. Oh no, this is where the scavenger was. And that's where the... Well yeah, this is where he was. It's not like he's here anymore. Well, this stinks. I don't know where they are, possibly. Where did you go? And this guy's off his bonkers. Okay, so great. I don't know where they could possibly be. He did say northeast, so maybe we should start heading northeast? Or did I pass them? Or did I pass them already? Because I feel like I did. Oh! All right. 
That was super loud. Um, wait, what's right here? What's right here? Maybe uh, this is just like an episode. Of like, oh, what's over here? What's over here? What's over here? Um. Okay, it's just an abandoned, abandoned ship. Man, I just don't know. I don't know where they actually could possibly be. And also, I don't know where that Ian is. Don't know where that Ian is. <laughs> um, might as well make another save here, just in case that the recording went bad. I don't know. I really don't know, folks. Oh no, this is this is a super mutant camp. We're gonna get hurt a lot here, but I might just load the save if we die. Oh! One of them had a Gatling laser. <laughs> that was unexpected. Lucky, can I get in game? I, I, I. And also, the frames are. Wait, are the, the the fan is on. Um, maybe I could try, uh, killing the super mutants from here? One of them has a Gatling laser, which... I don't know which one has the other one. That's, that's the one. Um, <laughs> what can I do? So dead. Uh, there's uh, music playing somewhere. Close am I to death with my armor? Not that much. Found to see of it. I um, am almost dead though. <laughs> How unlucky do I? Am I even getting? Like I'm getting unlucky with almost dying. But then I get lucky with this. How? Untie him. Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you. The Look, I I'll take that down. Get out of here. You're right. A nail board. 
nail board. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, one of them had a mini nuke. Bet they didn't use that for an idea in the future. Well, they, this place had a quite a bit of good stuff. Um, let me actually just go to aid and uh, heal myself. Holy moly, that was just... That wasn't a bunch, but still... fact that it took that much out of me um also let's go ahead and read uh duck and uh, read these little uh books duck and cover encloses increased by two small guns increase increased by two big book of science science increased by two that's not that bad um we did get that transcript. What is what was that? Paul, it's me, Tina. I heard back from my sister Candace. We couldn't get into a vault. 101, 87, didn't matter. All full to capacity. But my brother Alex is a soldier and he sort of stole the passcode for a secure army bunker. He did it for the family, but they caught him. Before they took him into custody, Alex, he sent us each one number of the four digit code. That way, we all have to be together to get in. He gave me number five, the day of my birth. So, I guess what I'm saying is, I'm still leaving. It's been fun, kind of. Oh, and I'm not pregnant, so no worries. <laughs> okay. Um. The bodies of the West have bite marks on their necks. Oh, jeez, Louise. This, uh... This is a big, uh... This is a big, gigantic... Wa like, not waste of my time, but that... I think that actually... That... That thing is actually part of a quest. Like, that note is part of an actual thing. That is really important. So, I will... So, actually... I think that'll be it for today. So, let me make sure that the audio didn't go bad. So, yeah. So, folks, that is the end of this episode. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Fallout 3. If you did, smash that like and subscribe button in the face like a pro. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode. Good night, everybody!